All right, so tonight we're still talking about rocks, and we will be talking about rocks for the next couple of weeks, so get used to it. Um, but here are just some very common rocks in each type of rock that we have, so this will be a very good review for you too, um, to refer back to you um, once we start talking about igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic in more detail. All right, so the types of rocks again are igneous rocks, which have to do with volcanoes, metamorphic rocks, which have to do with heat and pressure, and sedimentary rocks, which have to do with rivers, compaction, cementation, things like that. All right, so sedimentary rocks, how they are made. They are made when wind and water break down the earth, which we call weathering and sometimes erosion. Um, bits of earth settle in lakes and rivers, just like you can see in the diagram above. And layers are formed and they build up on top of one another, so then you get a sedimentary rock. Um, pressure and time turn the layers actually into rocks. So there is some pressure that has to do with making sedimentary rocks too. Um, here are some types of sedimentary rocks that are good to be familiar with. And the first one is sandstone and limestone, gypsum, conglomerate, and shale. Very good. Let's rock this joint! All right, metamorphic rocks. What are they? Now, this is a really cool thing um, that you can look at in order to see where that pressure and heat come into play in order to make a metamorphic rock. Um, these are rocks that have changed, hence why they're called metamorphic, like metamorphism with butterflies and caterpillars and things like that. Um, they were once igneous or sedimentary, and the pressure and heat changed the rocks into metamorphic. So here are some types of metamorphic rocks that are good to be familiar with is schist and also nice which is not pronounced Guinness it is called nice this is the nice rock that has bands okay so that is nice igneous rocks what are they which have to do with volcanoes and magma and lava and all that different kind of stuff um, these are also called as the fire rocks they are formed underground by trapped and cooled lava if they're intrusive. And they can be formed above ground, which is extrusive, when volume with volcanoes erupt in magma cools. Here are some types of igneous rocks that are good for you to um, know off the top of your head. Granite is one. Scoria is another. Pumice is another. And the last one that everybody loves is obsidian, which is the shiny black one. All right, so again, how the rocks are formed. A rock is made up of more than one mineral. You should already know that. And they are classified into those three groups that we just talked about. Igneous is formed when molten rock cools and hardens. Metamorphic forms when a rock is changed by heat and pressure. And sedimentary forms when sediment piles up and then gets cemented together from pressure. Um, here are just some pictures. Um that you can look at to see where um, rocks are actually used in real life. So that dam um, is the Hoover Dam, and um, this is used to trap water so that way we can have controlled um, rivers on the other side so other things don't uh, flood. We can also use them for housing. We can also use them for pottery. We can also use them for buildings. We can use them for monuments. We can use them for chalk. Um, again, for buildings and housing. We can also use them for weapons, and that's also what people in the olden times used, like Indians and things like that. And we can also use them for wall, walls and even walking pavement. So hopefully you got a good feel of those common rocks that I'm going to be referencing for the next couple of weeks. So hopefully you can kind of tell which ones are which, what they look like, and what they're used for. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow.